and on a Saturday, I typically upload new blogs to my website. I've done the exact same today and uploaded a new blog, but I didn't write it. Someone else wrote, no, that's, that's a lie. No one else wrote it. So how did it get created? Artificial intelligence. I used copy.ai to create this blog. What I wanted to do is talk to you about copy.ai and show you how to use it, the things you can do, and perhaps some ideas to use in the classroom because it blew my mind and has made my life a little bit easier too. So let's get into it. So Copy AI is a fantastic website for generating ideas and content. Personally, I use it for content creation. Don't use it so much for lessons, but I have thought of different lessons that you could do using this. Personally, I use it for things such as generating captions, generating different hashtag ideas, creating outlines for blogs, and then also when I'm struggling to think of product descriptions on my website, I'll put things through this website too because it reduces some of the cognitive strain. And that's what we want to do for pupils is reduce some of the cognitive strain so that they can be more creative in their writing. And there's lots of different tools available on this website for that. So if we were to start off here, you can see that there's two different things. We've got projects and we've got templates. So with the templates, we've got the blog post wizard. This is what I use to create my blog. Unfortunately, now this is a pro tool, which is a little bit unfortunate, but there's still ways that you can create blogs to support children with their writing without using this pro feature. You're gonna use the freestyle, which we'll get into in a second. So if we're looking at creating an outline, this outline can support children with then taking that outline and creating their own content. So if we were to create a blog title um, and perhaps tips for returning back to school. Okay, this blog is about tips for children returning back to primary school. We're gonna keep it with a friendly tone, although we could really change that to relaxed, professional. We're gonna keep it friendly and then we're gonna press create content. From there, the AI is then going to do its thing and generate a range of different outlines based on what you've just typed in. I find that generally it will pull from the internet and then here we go you can see a range of different sections. So we can see practice using the alarm clock, try wearing school uniform for a day, uh, do, some, do something new with friends from your class. All these different ideas are brilliant ideas that I would probably have taken a long time to think of. From there then children can use tools that you have then, or skills that you have then developed in class to write out something that might be a non-chronological report or a leaflet. And you can see that this would really support with the planning process. It would just support with generally children going, ah, okay, I can pull this idea, this idea, this idea. And it would really help with, yeah, just generating some practical in information for in their writing. Then from there, if you've then used this, you can then generate different content ideas through discussion in the classroom. We've also got a range of different templates that you can use for social media and different things like that, if that is something which you're interested in. From there, going back to the homepage, the one thing I would do for creating the blog post, as I've said before, is use freestyle. So from there, what we're going to do is try and create a blog for children returning back to school. What are the main points you want to cover? Now, if I was being really technical, I could have pulled those points from the blog outline, not done that, um, but I'm just going to cover back to school tips for children. Again, the more cues you can give the AI, then the better the blog is going to be. So by using some of the outlines that has then been shared, you're going to get a better blog. From there, you're going to press create content. What this will then do is then give you basically a short blog. This, um, for me personally, is brilliant for either children taking away and generating more ideas based on that or proofreading. Now, sometimes this can not quite sound right when read out loud. It does a pretty good job, but children can then try and either change the context of it. So for example, change it from a friendly tone to a more serious tone, or proofread it and see if it all makes sense. So from my blog that I shared at the start, there is a section within there that doesn't quite make sense and nobody actually mentioned or saw that. I think it's a section that says, we do this, we do that, although it's related more to the website saying we. 
The problem there is then that it doesn't quite fit into the tone which I'm trying to convey. So children at the higher levels, up key stage two, maybe even into secondary school, could then go, ah, how can we change this to develop better writing? But we can see definitely that this has done a really good job of generating a general short blog that can then be expanded on. So we've got don't overpack, make sure you have fun stuff in the backpack, uh, make sure you, they get enough sleep before going back to school. So if we copied that, we could then paste that in and then we could just keep copying it and pasting in and obviously we could then shift this about, change the numbers. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and here are seven secrets to going back to school. And that's how quick <laughs> this can be. Obviously you would proofread that, get the children, but we can see how powerful this copy AI can be for use in the classroom to generate ideas and get children thinking about their writing a little bit more. Sometimes it can just be very hard for children to generate ideas as I keep expressing throughout this video. And I think this is a fantastic tool to support children with that process. I really wanna hear what other ideas you have based on using Copy AI in the classroom. One thing to note is there is a word count limit, but I think if you're using this once or twice in the classroom uh, a month or per week, you should be fine. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more EdTech videos. If you wanna see more videos associated to EdTech, check out this video too, to see a little bit more information about how to use Google effectively in your school too. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. Until then, I'm out.